We've got our foundations um, set for our shooting positions. We know how to build up a good position and we're actually ready now to test our marksmanship. So we're going to move forward, put some rounds on target and start analysing that. So the first group that we're looking at here, the rounds are in a string vertically. What's that telling us? Well, it can be one of a couple of things. It can be that our breathing cycle, we're releasing the shot at different points in our breathing cycle. We're actually looking to exhale naturally and after about two thirds of that exhalation, your body is going to find a natural steadiness for about three to five seconds, which as long as you're on aim and everything's working, is more than enough time to release that shot. The other reason that you could be getting a vertical string in your grouping is because the butt is not in the proper position in your shoulder. The butt, due to the recoil, is just slipping every time you take a shot. So make sure that you've placed the butt into the shoulder properly, you've extended your right arm out, and pulled it back and the butt is nicely secure in that pocket in your shoulder. So we're now looking at a lateral string. So you've got your bullets are spread out from left to right along the horizon. What's the reason for this? Well, we're shooting at 100 metres. You can take out any wind equation. It's more likely your natural alignment is out of sync. Get yourself on aim, the crosshairs are centred on your point of aim where you want to impact and just close your eye for a couple of seconds. Then when you open your eyes the crosshair should still be sat exactly where you left it on your aiming marker. If it's moved deviated left or right at all, all you need to do is just shift your hips ever so slightly in the opposite direction to move your crosshairs across the page. Again, settle on, the, um, on your point of aim, close your eye and repeat the process. And once the crosshairs haven't moved, you know that your natural alignment is set. We've got four rounds in a nice tight group and we've got one off on its own. That is what we call a flyer. What's happened here? It's probably been something as simple as lack of concentration. You've actually seen those holes starting to appear on the paper from your shooting position back there, and you've probably got a little bit chuffed with yourself, relaxed a little bit too much, and not concentrated on the last shot as much as you should have, and that's caused this flyer. So you really do need to keep that consistency concentrate on every single shot as a single shot on its own and once the shot is gone don't try and look for it on the paper and start analysing the group at that point. Shoot the group and then look at analysing it thereafter. Okay so you've fired your five rounds and you've got two rounds really tight, nice and touching, and you've got another three rounds, nice and touching, but they're both in completely different areas. That's what we call a split group. So what's happened here? It's more than likely you fired the first two rounds, your position hasn't felt very comfortable or something's happened, and you've broke your position ever so slightly or almost completely, and then you've settled back into the position and fired a further three rounds. So what do we do to combat this? We make sure that our shooting position is nice and steady, we're well aligned, everything is in place, and once we do start shooting, the position doesn't move. It's really as simple as that. So the last group that we're going to look at is, you fired your rounds, they're all in a nice formation, 
but they're just not as close as you were expecting them to be. Really, that's down to your concentration and securing your shooting position that little bit more. So think about what you're doing. Really try to focus on every part, all four marksmanship principles, all seven elements, and then your three factors and make sure everything's as good as it can be. Really concentrate on that aiming point and put in your crosshairs exactly on the same place each time and hopefully that will shrink your group. The other reason that you might be getting slightly larger groups than you're expecting could be down to ammunition. And a good way to figure this out is if it's a new rifle, new rifle setup, have maybe four different brands of ammunition there, possibly even different weights of bullets to see what goes through your rifle better because a lot of rifles will fire one or two brands of ammunition perfectly well and then one brand of ammunition just really doesn't work for whatever reason. So that could be the other reason you're getting larger groups than you expected. So really all I've got left to say is that these principles, these fundamentals the found, are the foundations of any good rifle shot really so if you're a happy plinker or a target shooter or a deer stalker or fox shooter if you try to employ the marksmanship principles and the seven elements and the three factors and use all those in any shooting situation hopefully you're going to reap the rewards and um, see the benefits